Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to add these share buttons onto your website. That way you can allow users to share your content on their social media. So for instance, if I was on this website and I wanted to share this content on my social media, all I would have to do is click on the button and that would open up a new window, which would allow me to share this particular content. All right. And we're also going to show you how to create this style of buttons, just in case you don't want to use the horizontal option, you can use this option as well. All right, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I want you to go over to sharethis.com slash onboarding. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to this website. And in here you have the option of selecting any one of these options. We're going to go ahead and go with the first one inline share buttons. So let's click on that. And once you click that, it's going to bring you down here. And these are the buttons that you are given by default. Of course, we can totally customize this to do that. All you have to do is click on this here. All right. So let's say we want to remove the email and the share button. All we have to do is click that and that. If we want to add some, then just click on the ones that you want to add. You can also move these around. So if you don't like the order, you can move them around. All right. This share one, by the way, if you click on it, it's going to show you all of the different options. So you actually don't really even need all of these. You could just use this one. It'll have all the options, but you can still add all of these and include that one as well. That's totally up to you. All right. And there's a couple of settings that you can adjust here, like alignment, size of the buttons, labels, color. I actually do like the white ones. I think they look pretty cool. So I'm going to go with that. And these labels here, if you click on share counts, it will show you the number of times your content has been shared on that particular social media. So let's go ahead and keep that option as well. A couple more options here, corners, extras, counts. You can also remove the spacing between the buttons, but I don't think that looks very good. So we're going to go ahead and keep that. You have the option of selecting a different language. I'm going to stick to English. All right. Once you're done adjusting your settings, you can click on next and now it's going to want you to create an account. So let's go ahead and do that. And this here is just asking you how many page views you get in your website a month. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. I'm going to click. I've read the terms and conditions and I'm going to click sign up. All right, once you click on that, you're going to have three steps here. Let's start with the first one. So we're going to copy this just by clicking on this. Now we want to paste this in between our head tag. So let's go back to our project. Well, assuming that you have a project created, go ahead and create one. And we're just going to paste that in between the head tags up here. All right, step one or step two is done. Moving on to step number three, copy your placement code. All right, so we're going to copy this instead of our project. And these are the actual buttons. So we're going to place this inside of the body. Of course, we don't actually have any code in here, but if this was your website, then you would place these buttons wherever it is that you would want them to display on your website. By the way, I did add a CSS file that is going to place these buttons in the center of the screen. All right, so I believe we are done. Let's go back to see if we have anything else to do. No, we are done. Let's click on continue to dashboard. And it's going to ask us a question, add new domain. So what website do you want these buttons to track? So if you don't have a website, you can just add anything like codefox.com. I don't actually have this website, but I'm just going to add it in here because it does not let me exit out of here. So we're going to go ahead and add this. But if you were actually using this on a real website, you would want to include the, the name of the website. And let's say that the buttons were not on the home page, like they were not on codefox.com, which is the home page. Let's say that you had the buttons on the about page. Well, you would want to add that. That way this tracks that particular page correctly, All right? Let's just keep this at codefox.com, add new domain, and we're all set. So now we can go back to the project. We can open with live server so we can see our buttons. All right, and there are the buttons. And if you're wondering why there's numbers here, even though 
our content has not actually been shared in this social media accounts is because by default they give you these numbers i'm not sure why but when you actually deploy this application on a server then these will get set to zero and at this point we can click on these and it'll actually take us to our particular account and you can share that document all right i'm going to exit out of that now let's say i want to remove one of these buttons we can totally do that if we go back to the settings or even if we do not want them to display like this let's say that we want them to display on the side we can totally do that as well in fact let me show you how to do that so to do that go to apps directory and let's say we want them to display on the side let's click sticky share buttons and enable tool All right and it's going to take about five minutes for this to take effect but usually it happens a lot quicker All right there we go it happened a lot quicker let me remove these now so you can see how to do that as well so let's go back to apps directory uh, inline share buttons scroll all the way to the bottom and click disable tool so once again it's going to take about five minutes usually it takes a, a lot less for it to take effect but this time it is taking a little bit longer that's totally fine but yeah that's how you would add these buttons onto your project now some of you might be wondering why didn't we create these with actual code well that's because that's actually a little bit more advanced to do you would not be able to do something like this with just html css and javascript you would actually need the back end to be able to track the number of times somebody has actually shared your content on their social media it would it could actually get quite complicated so we want to use a tool like this that already handles all that stuff for us and just allows us to copy and paste the code into our project so we don't have to worry about implementing something like that into our project all right that's going to be it for this video please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching